So what di ka? Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. Today I've got another breakfast recipe for you. It's a popular staple breakfast item in Thailand, but it is originally Chinese. I am talking about dok, which is what we call it in Thai, but in English it's referred to as kanji. Which I think kanji is an English word. I never thought about that. Maybe it's not English. Um, you can also call it rice porridge. It's basically our version of savory oatmeal. Now, what I'm going to show you today is how to make a quick version in less than 15 minutes using leftover rice. Okay, which. Quick versions of food is what I am all about these days with this baby coming any day now. But if you want the long method, the traditional method of making dog, I do have a video for that and I'll link to that in the description box below. All right, let's get started. So two things you need for this quick version to work. One, you need rice that's already cooked, so any leftover rice will be fine. And you also need to have some chicken stock or pork stock ready, which you can use store-bought. But if you want to know how to make a really good Asian-style stock, I will link to the videos in the description below. Okay, so I've got some rice here. If your rice is cold, I like to nuke it in the microwave first because when rice is warm, it'll absorb liquid more readily, make it go faster, okay? So that all goes into this blender here. I'm going to add just enough of my stock to blend it. Not everything, just enough to get it going. And the consistency is sort of up to you. If you like it coarser, you don't have to blend it as much. If you like it finer, you can blend it more. But what you don't want is a smooth puree, okay? We're not making a cream soup here. You still want like broken bits of rice. I just like to take it up, pour it, and just look at the consistency. Yeah, maybe a couple of blitzes more. Oop, that's it. Perfect. So I'll show you the consistency that I like. And then with the leftover stock, this is why we saved it, you're going to add to it so you can rinse all the little rice bits in the blender. Okay, so now I'm going to turn that on and this needs to simmer for at least 10 minutes. If you've got more time, longer will get a smoother, softer consistency, but in the spirit of quick version, 10 minutes is the minimum that you need, all right? So now, while that is going, we want to make our meatballs. Pork meatballs is a classic thing that we always add into our joke in Thailand. If you want to add other meats, Go for it, but I'm going to show you a really quick way of making delicious meatballs. So I've got some ground pork here. You can do ground chicken if you want. Um, you don't want this lean though. You want some fat in there to keep it nice and soft, okay? So now I'm going to add some garlic, which I pounded in my mortar and pestle, but you can grate it with a microplane or finely, finely mince it. Or you know what? Just use garlic powder. I mean, in the spirit of quick food, throw in some garlic powder. No one's judging. Um, some white pepper, or you can do black pepper if you want. Some simple seasoning. I got soy sauce. And some fish sauce. And then this is completely optional, but if you want a nice aroma, you can do some toasted sesame oil. Get ready to mix everything up. And I like to use my hands to get all of that mixed in. For a finer texture, you can also blitz this in a food processor, but again, we're trying to be quick and reduce the amount of dishes that we need to do. So you really want to knead all that together really well. It's also better if you use gloves that actually fit your hands rather than using Adam's large size gloves and then it slipping off all the time. So that's done. Now here's a tip. If you want to make extra of this, freeze some either like form little balls already and then stick them in the freezer and then you can just throw that into soup, throw that into whenever you make kanji and you don't have to make this every time. All right, so after 10 minutes, you should have this thick luscious thing right here. So you can see the rice is nice and plump. Again, if you have 15 minutes, do 15. It's gonna be even softer, but 10 minutes is sort of like the minimum requirement, I think. I'm gonna add just a touch more water. You can add more stock if you've got some laying around just because right now it's a little too thick. With the meatballs, which we have, oh, by the way, uh, I forgot to add sugar to my meatball mixture. So I did add that while you weren't looking. Um, and just a touch of sweetness, subtle, subtle sweetness, I find goes really well, contrasts nicely with sort of the salty congee. Oh, before I add 
I'm all over the place today. Before I add the meatballs, let's season this first. I got some soy sauce. And this is totally a me thing. You can just do soy sauce, but I like to add a little fish sauce as well. Makes it better. Because I'm going to be dealing with the meatballs, I'm going to just turn this off for now because when a thick thing is bubbling, sometimes it jumps and then lands on your arm and it's the worst kind of burn because it's super thick and it just stays there. So I'm just going to turn this off while we deal with the pork. So with the meatballs, I'm just going to use these two teaspoons just to create bite-sized balls and it's going directly into this pot. And then you just keep doing it. By the way, I should point out that um, the amount of congee that I have here is actually half the recipe. I just have so much congee at home right now, I don't need to make the full recipe. Um, so this is more pork than what I would need for this. But as I said, it freezes really well, so I'm just going to freeze the rest. And you can make it as big or as small as you like. You can sit there and make perfect little, like what the French call the canal shape, like this, if you care. But seriously, who has time for that? Okay, so that looks good to me. I'm gonna turn the heat back on and the pork will only need to simmer for like three minutes. That's all it takes for them to be done. I'm gonna add just a touch more water here. There we go. And the flavor from the pork is gonna go into the congee making it even more delicious. Mmm, okay. all right, so a few minutes gone by, the pork is completely cooked and the kanji looks perfect. So now I'm just gonna taste this for seasoning. Mmm, mmm, perfect. Feel free at this point to add more soy sauce. If you don't want this to be darker, add some more salt. If you just want a little bit of more seasoning without the color, salt will work just fine. That is delicious. What I'm gonna do now though, I'm gonna add just a pinch of julienne ginger, which you can save to the end, but I like it to have some time to infuse into the congee itself as well. Maybe a little more. All right, let's serve it up. Look how quick that was, right? Faster than making pancakes in the morning. Mm. And when you make kanji at home, you can really load up on the pork. Because we all know that when we go to a kanji, like a dim sum place, and you order a bowl of kanji, it's mostly rice. And even the rice isn't this concentrated, it would be thinner, there will be a lot of water, not that much rice, and then not that much other stuff. So I like to make my own. Extra garnish, of course, with some more ginger, some green onions. I like a little white pepper too. All right, let's give this a taste. Give it all the stir. Oh, by the way, for our Patreon members with access to the show after the show, for this episode, I'm gonna talk you through all the different types of rice porridge that we have in Thailand, because we have quite a few of them. So if you wanna know more about becoming a Patreon member, I'll put the link in the description below. Careful, it's hot. Kanji burns like nobody's business. Mm. Such comforting goodness. There is nothing like that first bite of warm, soft kanji in the morning. It's just so comforting, so soothing, and it's got that familiar flavor of just pork and rice and pork stock. Mm. It's just so good. And it took only like literally 10 minutes for the rice. While the rice is cooking, you make your pork, you put the pork in three minutes, I mean, it's a 15 minute ordeal. You can totally do that on a weekend as long as you've got some stock and some rice ready. Man, it is just so good. And by the way, you can freeze this. If you've got extra, you can freeze it and then just heat it up in the microwave that way too. So the recipe as always will be on hotthaikitchen.com. When you make it, send me a photo on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, and follow me on Pinterest as well. For those of you who are pinners, I am on there. If you haven't subscribed to the show, make sure you do so you don't miss an episode and click the bell icon too so you get a notification when I post a new video. Thank you as always for watching and I will see you next time for your next delicious Thai meal.
and click the bell icon as well so you got a notification. <laughs> if you have not scrub, sub, subscribed, man, if you haven't subscribed to the show, subscribe, subscribe. And if you haven't subscribed to me, man, why is this so hard? Uh -huh.